Okay, here we have graphing a linear equation of the form y equals mx. Um, and then these are the steps on what you will do inside Alex. But first I need to draw it, and then once I know what the image is supposed to look like, then we'll go through this, okay? So what we need to do is essentially what we did a couple of topics ago. We need to create our own um, chart. Okay, now you already know that I like to plug in zero. And then the second number I like to plug in is the denominator. So if you think of this as a fraction, there's a one in the denominator, right? It's a little invisible one. Because any whole number can be written as that number over one in fraction form. So I'm gonna use that denominator one. And then I'm gonna plug both of these numbers into my equation to figure out what y is. So when I plug in zero, I get three times zero, which is zero. And when I plug in one, I end up with three. And all you need is two points to graph a line, okay? So I'm gonna draw a number or uh, a system here, coordinate system. And I'm going to plot 0, 0, which is here, and then 1, and 1, 2, 3, which is here. Okay? Now, in hours, I mean, I can do this on paper and then just connect the dots, right? It's not complicated to do it on paper. What's going to be a little bit harder to do is to do it on um, the computer in Alex, okay? So in order for you to do the computer in Alex, you can choose to do this step or not. It's up to you. I like to do that step just because I see the points. They, they plot them in there real dark and um, big dots. Um, and then I move on to step three and four. However, so the first thing you would do, this is what I would do, is I would click on the pencil icon that you see inside Alex. Then I would use the cursor, right, use my mouse to move the little uh, dot around, the pencil around, until I get to zero, zero, and then I would left click to plot the zero point. And then I would use the cursor again and put it at one, three, click, left click, and so it will put the dot there. And so all you see on Alex is the two dots. And as long as they're visually correct, I make sure that they're right where they're, supposed, where they're supposed to be, then I click on the line icon, okay? And then I use my cursor to just click on this dot and click on that dot, and it draws the line for me. However, you could skip this part. You don't have to draw the points in there. What you could do is click on the line icon and when you click on it and you go to zero, zero, what it's gonna do is it's gonna put a little X at zero, zero. And then you go over to one and three and it's gonna put the X and then it's gonna automatically draw the line at the same time, okay? So you can do just steps two, uh, three and four. The only reason why I like to do steps one and two is because one, I can see the dots in my line and two, it makes, it makes um, this part a little bit easier, clicking over the points, because they'll already be there. All I have to do is just go right to where it was and right to where it was. Um, I don't have to figure out where it should be or anything like that, okay? Um, so again, that's an option on how to do that, but that is the way you will get that problem done, okay? So now let's do another example because this one has a fraction. So I'm gonna set up my chart again, and I like to plug in zero, and then what was the other one? I like to plug in my denominator, and this time I am given a denominator, it's two. So those are the two values that I'm going to plug in for x. So y equals negative one half times zero equals zero. Y equals negative one half times two will actually be negative one. So I get zero and negative one. And then
dots on paper. In Alex, you draw the line or you click on the line icon, mark 00, zero mark 21, and automatically um, makes the line for you. And then you can submit.